Hello, Board Game Geek. Got a special treat today. I am going to be unboxing a game from my childhood, Mutant Chronicles Siege of the Citadel, brought to you from 1993 Pressman Games. We'll look, take a look at the back before I ravage this sucker. Um, tons of components. Mutant Chronicles was basically a, I don't know, a, a take at, a different take at Warhammer 40k, I guess. Like from a, I want to say a Swedish company that um, basically wanted in on some of the Space Marine action that was going on at the time that everybody was crazy for. So this was in stores at like, uh, I remember, I think I got it for Christmas from like a KB's or Circus World or something or other. Um, I didn't ask for it, but it was underneath the Christmas tree and I had tons of fun with it. So I'm excited about getting this sucker open and seeing what's in there. Uh-oh, still has the... Uh, Still has the venture price tag on it, and uh, I got it for criminally insa an insane amount, like near the clearance rack aisle here, is where it's like seven dollars. Uh, <laughs> still there, but all right, let's uh, deface this and hopefully uh, not be sad in ten years when I could have bought a house with the uh, with the contents. But <laughs> see what's in this sucker. I'm I'm really excited about this. Used to be one of my faves. Um, the only thing is, uh, I don't know how many times I'll be able to play this now. It's a three to five player game, and the I don't know if um, my girlfriend and family will uh, be as into the knockoff Space Marines as I was as a kid. Man, this is really sealed up. There you go. Something, something gave. All right, what do we got here? Well, maybe it won't be unboxing. whole box is just gonna fall apart watch oh, okay here we go oh now the goodies we got novels coming out soon mutant chronicles novels hitting the streets on uh in december of 93 keep your eyes peeled ah uh, the black and white 16 page rule book which uh has Everything you'll need to play. I, I remember it not being too deep. Hell, I was probably 10 or 11 when it came out. So if I could play it at that time, I'm sure I won't have a problem then. Now, the different factions. Basically, uh, Mutant Chronicles, in their uh, in their world, there's corporations have taken over. And be it like your uh, McDonald's and GameStops or whatever running the world. Uh, I think it's a little more serious than that, though, but uh, different different nations throughout the world have all uh, come together underneath corporation banners and decided they're going to go exploring and take over the universe. And the uh, other than fighting each other, what else we got here? We got some double-sided tiles. It's pretty cool. I think it's a modular board, if I remember correctly. Um, other than fighting each other, they have the other the main villains of the game, uh, the Undead Legions, demons from uh, outer space. You got your Legionnaires, Necromutants, Centurions, Raz, oh, Raz, oh, what is it? Razids? It? Razdeads? I don't know. Nephra, 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 I don't know. My my English isn't coming out as good as it should these days. I'm a little too excited, I guess. Anyway, got the mission books. If I remember correctly, it's scenario uh, campaign style, like um, a space hawk, but a little. A little bit deeper. I think the the characters um, evolve over time with uh, better weapons and whatnot. I don't know if it's uh, too deep, but enough to to get your uh, your your blood boiling when you're trying to kill other space marines and uh, demons. I, I mainly I believe it's just fighting uh, fighting the demons and undead. And you have a screw your buddy over mechanic. Man, there's gonna be a lot of uh, punching out and stuff to do. This giant piece here, if I remember correctly, is the Citadel that you'll be running through. And I don't know, I don't think it does anything too important other than it's just the piece that you set on top of the board. Um, oh, here's the good stuff. You got tons and tons of minis. You got every, uh, every squad has two different Space Marines in it that I'm pretty sure they have slightly different uh, mechanics. But basically the same. Got a pouch of uh, undead uh, soldiers and super mutants and whatnot. 
That's some demons and everybody's favorite, the Easel Ghoul's giant white horse of death. Tons and tons of uh, 28 millimeter sprues. Some pins for something or other. So, uh, fresh new, uh, fresh new thing of cards. Got the uh, popular dice of uh, white, red, and black variants that I think are for damage rolling. What else we got here? Oh yeah, these were for the cards to pop into. So you can, everybody would have a nice little play mat to go onto. And I want to say the little black pegs were would pop into the one of the card sets. These guys here. Let's see if I can rewind a little bit. These would pop into here, and then you would keep track of everything through a little punch hole system that would keep track of all your stats and whatnot. All in all, super cool. And uh, really excited about it. I got it for a criminal price. Um, I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's almost embarrassing how well it was. But um, anyways, I am really happy about it and hopefully get a couple games underway and uh, put a real review up. And so look forward to Thanks for uh, stopping by and hopefully I'll do another one soon. Okay. Bye-bye.